information on how an interviewer and interviewee appears for an examination. So before I start with the session, let me tell you some things. How you can greet the examiner. It is the first and the foremost tip that you need to know because the first impression is the last impression. So as soon as you enter the hall or the examiner room, so you have to ask for a permission. Can I come in? And in a very pleasant tone. Never say, can I come in? Or can I come in? No, your tone has to be very pleasant. So when you enter the hall, you have to greet the examiner with a good morning, good afternoon or good evening. It depends on the time of the day. So keep it simple, be confident and give the answers with a smile. Best of luck for your examination and now we are going to start with the session. Good morning ma'am, may I have a seat? Yes. My name is Lavina. May I have your name please? My name is Nidhi Kaushal. Hi Nidhi. Can I have your introduction please? I am Nidhi Kaushal and I have come from Ludhiana and it's my hometown. I'm living here since my childhood and I have completed my bachelor's from Gurmana Girls College and now I'm preparing my documentation to visit abroad. Nidhi, can I have your identification proof? Yes, sure. Here's my passport. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. So now we are going to start with your introduction section and the first question is what place do you most like to visit? Well, I love traveling and I love visiting different places and exploring those places but the place which I love to visit which is my favorite place is a garden which is very close to my house. And how often do you visit this place? Well, I visit this place regularly on a daily basis with my mother whenever I go to morning walk. Nidhi, why do you like it so much? I love this place because it is full of lush and greenery and it has variety of plants and there are many flowering plants and I feel very close to the nature. Has it changed very much since you first went there and in what ways has it changed? Well, it has really changed very much uh, because earlier it was a playground only and then municipal corporation took an initiative to maintain it. New varieties of flowering plants have been introduced and many benches along with sheds have been introduced also. Now we are going towards the cue card round. You have to speak for two minutes and you have one minute to prepare for it. If you wish to make notes, you can. And your cue card is going to be Describe a useful website you have visited. The questions are what the website was, how you find the, found the address of this website, what the website contained and explain why it was useful to you. Best of luck. Well, I visit many websites regularly even on the daily basis but here I would like to talk about a website which I often use that is none other than www.youtube.com it is a very useful website and it contains a lot of things like videos on everything you can watch videos regarding recipe of anything you can watch videos regarding uh, the interviews of celebrities and you can also review the songs and many other uh, things like promos of newly launched pictures in movies I, find, I, I found this website very useful because uh, once I wanted to give a surprise to my mother by baking a cake on her birthday and I vividly remember that I started using this website uh, from then only and I came to know about this website from my friend and this, is very use, this was very useful because I baked the cake uh, by watching a video from it and uh, the at last the cake baked out very well and my mother was very happy and even I was very happy by seeing her happy and, uh, uh, and this website also has helped me a lot when I was in my school uh, by in making my science projects and many other projects when I, when I was in my college regarding chemistry, physics and microbiology. Nidhi, now let's start with your discussion round. Your first question is going to be, 
what effect has the internet had on the way people generally communicate with each other technology is but joining day by day and it has affected a lot uh, also the way of communication and uh, earlier people communicate through letters and it, it was the uh, it was the slowest mode of communication whereas with the help of technology people can communicate within a fraction of seconds and they can also communicate those people who are sitting miles away from us the next question is going to be why do you think the internet is being used more and more for the communication today there are a plethora of reasons that people are using technology these days for communication first of all people use technology or internet because internet is available every available everywhere in the world and everybody has access to the technology also the reason behind it the reason behind using technology as a mode of communication is that you can communicate with the people who is sitting far uh, far away from you within a fraction of seconds and there are also a facility of video call and you can feel the person very close to you apart from making an international call with the help of internet is very easy and quite economical as compared to the as compared to the international call which is made with the help of a server or a sim card okay nidhi so do you think shopping on the internet will be more or less popular in future and why yes of course it will be more popular in the future because it has variety of advantages online shopping the first advantage of online shopping is that it saves your time and a person can shop online by sitting anywhere and a person needs not to go to shop to shop to buy different products because a variety of product products can be available in one site only I hope you will find this video beneficial in preparing for your IELTS speaking test. 